One of the primary needs of 3D modelers working with polygon models is the ability to easily draw new polygons or to create polygons from scratch. The modeling toolkit provides a unique tool called QuadDraw that gives modelers the flexibility to not only create new polygons, but to work with existing polygon meshes. QuadDraw provides tools for polygon creation that work in several ways. The first way is by creating points you'll use for the polygons. Let's take a look at how this works. In the Modeling Toolkit, click the QuadDraw button at the bottom. Before we use QuadDraw, we need to check an important feature that deals with the Transform Constraints option in the Modeling Toolkit. Currently, the Transform Constraints are set to Grid. This allows us to create new polygons based on the currently active grid, which is the home grid. Right now, this is the setting we need to have active for what we are about to do with QuadDraw. With QuadDraw active, in the top viewport, click to add four vertices spaced apart from one another in a straight line or arc. Then create four additional vertices adjacent to the vertices we just created. These vertices will be used to create new polygons. Now press and hold the Shift key and place your cursor inside the first set of four vertices. With the Shift key held down, as you move your mouse, you'll see a preview of where the polygons will be created. Again, make sure you're creating the first polygon using the first four vertices, and then click to create the first polygon. You need to be very careful when creating polygons because the Shift key also allows you to insert edge loops and subdivide polygons. Create the other faces using the remaining vertices. Once you've created the additional polygons, release the Shift key. We can continue adding polygons by creating another row of four vertices. Then again, hold the Shift key to create those new polygons. Once those polygons are created, we can continue holding the Shift key to insert edge loops. By placing your cursor over an edge, you will create an edge loop running through the selected edge. Place your cursor over any one of the edges and click the left mouse button to insert a new edge loop. Click QuadDraw again to turn off the feature. Now let's work on a specific model and use QuadDraw to retopologize the surface of the geometry by creating new polygons based on a specific surface. Right-click in any viewport. From the Marking menu, choose Deselect All, which will deselect any model in the scene. Click QuadDraw again to turn on the QuadDraw feature. This time, click the Transform Constraints dropdown and choose Other Surface, Body. This will allow us to draw on the body itself. In the Camera 1 viewport, use the face to create four vertices that follow the contours of the cheekbones. Then create four more vertices adjacent to those, keeping in mind that these will be the polygons we will be creating to represent the lower resolution geometry. Hold the Shift key and carefully click to create three new polygons. Being careful not to double click or click on an edge accidentally. This creates polygons that conform to the surface of the body object. Another method of creating polygons is to create polygon strips by holding both the control and shift keys down together. With the transform constraints still set to the body object, we can create a polygon strip that will conform to the body object. Press Control Shift on the keyboard, and as you move your cursor around the head of the character, you'll see a small polygon being created beneath your cursor. You can click and drag using the middle mouse button to increase or decrease the size of the polygon that will be used as the start of the polygon strip. Let's make it a little bigger by dragging to the right. Make it about this big. Release the middle mouse button, but don't release Control and Shift. 
Getting the initial orientation can be a little difficult at first. Move your cursor towards the upper right of the forehead and orient the polygon so that when you drag, you'll be dragging down towards the temple. Now click and drag with the left mouse button from the forehead down to the temple, following the jawline across to the chin. Once you've created this polygon strip, you can then begin to build off that by creating new polygons, or by creating another polygon strip adjacent to this one. If you want to delete a polygon, use only the control key. Press and hold control, and place your cursor over the polygon edge or vertex you want to delete. For example, put your cursor over one of the polygons along the strip we just created towards the jaw. Press control, then click the left mouse button to delete it. Also delete the polygon next to it. If we delete a set of polygons between two others, we can use the shift key to create a single new polygon in place of the two. Hold the shift key down and hover the cursor where you deleted the polygons. Pay attention to where the polygons will be created and then click to create a single polygon where the original two existed. Continue holding the shift key and we can continue adding edge loops to create additional geometry. Select one of the vertical edges near the chin. Here, we can insert an edge loop that runs along the length of the polygon strip. If we continue adding edge loops, the polygons will conform to the geometry of the body because we have that currently set as our transform constraint. Quadraw can quickly become an extremely important tool when you need to modify existing geometry or rebuild a high-resolution geometric object as low-resolution geometry.